people who ordered Belle Delphine's bath water. Why? I want to try and break gamer girl water down for people. Coming from someone who had a dark time in my life, where I might have been tempted to buy some gamer girl bath water. It's easy to say oh she's just tricking idiots out of their money, but it's a little more complicated than that. When you're approaching your mid to late 20s and still haven't enjoyed a healthy and intimate relationship, it really does start to fuck with you on a scary level. Mental illness, depression, anxiety, and such seem to be much more prevalent nowadays, since it's so easy to get quick fix social interaction through the internet. The internet is amazing, but it doesn't make you better at actually being a social human being in real life. You get guys who had quick and easy access to a hundred friends on MSN slash AIM slash Skype slash Discord slash Telegram grow increasingly dependent on online interactions for their social needs. I can confirm it gets to the point where you just don't even really want real interactions anymore because Pornhub handles your libido, Twitch gives you someone to listen to, instant messaging gives you people to talk to, etc. The only thing missing is the sexual physical touch of a woman and there's a part of you that might think that water that's touched your Twitch crush will satisfy that. It won't of course. The way that the most popular YouTubers and Twitch streamers interact with their audience is that of being a friend, family, or lover. How many streamers call their viewers some kind of pet name? Like, the, streamer name, family, or the, streamer name army. When your livelihood comes from donations and views, you need to be especially charismatic. The biggest names in online video makers always talk directly to their audience. They look into the camera, they call you their friends and family, they want you to hang out with them at conventions, and they want to hear your comments, they want to read your messages in chat, they offer life advice, they tell you they care about you, they tell you they are thankful for you, they want you to take care of yourself, and oftentimes they'll open up their soul, and talk about their lives to you. It's all about charisma, and being a good host and it's a great talent to have. For people in the previous point, this can actually be super harmful. You spend enough time in their streams and watching their videos, and you really do start to subconsciously believe that Markiplier, PewDiePie, Pee, and Summit are your friends. Obviously, it's not the case, but there was a time in my life where some of my favorite YouTubers were appearing in my dreams and were asking me to hang out, and my brain didn't even question that it was something we just did all the time. I recall a few years ago some kids and their mom showed up to a famous Twitch streamer's address and were confused as to why he felt that was a breach of privacy. They expected to hang out with him, get autographs, play games with him, and all around expect that he'd be thrilled to see them. Obviously, this is a huge breach of boundaries, and perfectly sane people just forget that these people don't have a one colon one friendship with them. When you're 25 plus and haven't had meaningful relationships with women, either romantic or otherwise, you start to get weird ideas about what women are, especially if you talk to the wrong groups. When you get to the point where you've craved intimate love and never had it for over 10 years, you start getting weird ideas. Some men lash out at women and get in salish. Some men put women on these pedestals as divine trophies to be won. Some men just assume that women will never like them. But the longer you go without ever knowing love, the easier it is to think of women as being a totally different species. When every woman you've ever known either hates video games, or are casual slash novice gamers at best, meeting a woman who seems to idolize gaming as much as you do triggers volatile emotions. Sometimes it comes in the form of disdain and skepticism, and end up making a toxic environment for women in gaming. If not that, it comes out as excessive idolization. You're at a point in your life where any woman who would even pay attention to you is a dream, and the thought of a girl who would share your favorite hobby with you may as well be the second coming of Christ. You crush on her hard, you buy all her merch, you send her donations, so that she'll start to recognize your name, and tell you thank you, and read your messages. I'm not saying that women shouldn't be allowed to be successful gaming streamers, but I do think that taking advantage of clinically depressed and lonely fans like this is awful. This whole selling bathwater thing to thirsty fans may seem like memes and trolling, but in reality, it's just highlighting a very very sad reality. There's guys out there who would buy this in a futile attempt just to feel closer to the one girl that ever paid them any attention. 
I was dangerously close to being one of those guys at one point and I know just how scary the spiral goes. People on my path would either end up doing things like buying this bath water or becoming misogynistic insults. It all sounds so stupid and pathetic, but it's a very true reality for some unfortunate guys suffering from severe depression. Edit. Hot dog. Golden platinum. Thank you Reddit for keeping an open mind and seeing the sad reality underneath the creepy thirsty fans. Edit 2. Advice for lonely guys. Your end goal isn't sex. If your goal is sex, you have the wrong goals. Sex is a happy byproduct of a healthy, truly loving relationship. Take better care of yourself. Switch to diet soda, or better yet water. Drop the empty cups, and learn to cook real meals using basic ingredients like veggies and meats. Throwing a mess of stuff in a slow cooker is a hell of a lot healthier, tastier, and more impressive than cooking mac and cheese on the stove at top. Seriously, if you're capable of throwing some potatoes, carrots, and beef into a slow cooker before you go to work slash school, you're going to look like fucking Gordon Ramsay to a girl that perhaps doesn't know how to cook. Pick up a cheap set of curling irons, start going for brisk walks to build up muscle and cardio. It's not hard, just start slow and work your way up. It's very possible to be a handsome and attractive man who's overweight and shorter than average point I'm always on the side of lose weight. You'll feel healthier and live longer, but don't think that. Just because you're overweight you can't be attractive. Trim your facial hair regularly, get a haircut, wash your face, shower daily, dress a little nicer than cargo shorts, and a t-shirt from thinkgeek.com. Accept the fact that everyone is shallow, including you. You like big tits and slender girls who aren't too tall? That's fine. Girls are allowed to like tall, muscular guys who aren't overweight. There's stuff about you that you can't change, so maximize the things you can, and it'll open up dating opportunities. Accept the fact that there's double standards. Yes, it's easier for women to find a partner than it is for a man, but that's a biological reality and not a social one. It's genetically in men's best interest to have as many sexual partners as possible purely from the standpoint of your instinctual need to pass along genes. It's genetically in a woman's best interest to make sure she finds the right man, because physically speaking, ancient humans have a very high mortality to child ratio than say cats who can pop out half a dozen kittens and barely notice. A male can find a new mate if his mate dies during childbirth. If a female dies while bearing a child, her lineage is simply gone forever. Get a hobby that doesn't involve your PC or gaming console. I'm as big of a gamer as anyone else, but it's not my only hobby. I was born with a Nintendo controller in my hands, and I game on PC just about every day. Online gaming is a great social activity, but it's not how you meet people. If you're a diehard nerd, go try paintball, airsoft, tablet top gaming, because all of those are vastly more social hobbies than sitting alone in your apartment playing MMOs with people you've never spoken to outside of Discord. If you're more adventurous, go look up hiking or biking trails near you. Meet people, take part in hobbies with them. You'll get better at being less awkward, and you're a hell of a lot more likely to meet a girl on a hiking trail than in your gaming room. It's okay to like porn, it's okay to like streamer girls who aren't afraid of showing skin. Just don't idolize any of it. If you've got the money, it's fine to donate to streamers who you enjoy the content of, but just never get the idea that, if you give someone enough money, they'll see you as a friend or potential lover. Lose that notion now, don't ever look back. But also, remember that some of these top streamers are making $500,000 a month. It's okay to watch streams and not donate. Don't try to force yourself into a relationship. I'm ashamed to admit that I emotionally manipulated my first girlfriend into a relationship with me because I thought it was the only way I'd find love. We cared about each other a lot, but it wasn't meant to be. I met my second girlfriend seemingly out of thin air, and we both fell in love super quickly. It too wasn't meant to be, but we had some amazing years together, and neither of us would have given it up for the world. The right girl is out there for you, and she's going to fall into your lap when you least expect it. Just make sure you follow the above steps, and be the right guy for her when she does. Don't be a manipulative cunt like I was. Hang in there dudes, don't end up as a nice guy or an insult, or you really really will never find love. Edit 3. I didn't buy the bath water. 
Make sure you subscribe to the channel and click that bell to turn on notifications, so you'll be sure to know when the next video comes out. Want to watch some more? Check out my other videos. I really do appreciate everyone who helps make these videos possible. And as always, thanks for watching.